Oh yeah, that's a hot steamy sh I can move the hot steamy sh Can the dog not sh on the grass? What? Hello everyone, welcome back to Sims 4. It has been quite some time since we've been back in this game and you know, just by touching down in it, I missed it so damn much. Also, we're running this on 4K, which Sims in 4K just looks brilliant, might I do say so myself. Uh, so we're just going to be kicking it around the White House today. I'll be honest, I lost my save file, but I was able to get it off my old PC. So it's probably a little far back because I've been using this PC for probably two or three months now. Uh, so we're going to have to make do with going back in time a little. But and, and unfortunately, I have to tell you, no one is, is back alive. We didn't go that far back. Uh, mother and father are still dead, sadly. And we have the brother, we got the dog, and we've got, uh, I got to remember everyone's name too. This is kind of bad. It's been a minute since we've been in here. I would say maybe two or three months probably. Um, so it's good to be back. Today we're going to be focusing on building and just kind of having fun, letting loose. Anyone who likes to watch these, the one reason why I play this game isn't for the story mode, which is like non-existent. Uh, it isn't for missions or anything like that. It's literally to build and kind of see the characters kind of transpire in the place that I've built. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be focusing on building. Uh, we've done a lot of building with this house as it is. But as you can see over here, um, we have a wall that's pretty much nothing. It, it's just uh, not even painted or anything. Like none of this is painted, if I'm not mistaken. It actually looks quite... I don't know. Maybe I did paint it. I really can't tell. I think it has something, but I'm just really not sure what it's got. So, oh, it's the, the families in the roof. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the reason why they're in the attic like that is because when you do this and then you go down, technically it looks like you can see them. I probably should get something else to put them on because them them shits is literally in the attic. That's how much we care about them. Who else died? We have Grant White. Worst sister ever, Kelsey. Oh my God, I forgot Kelsey. I forgot what we did to Kelsey, dude. Out in the fucking front lawn over here. I forgot we, we, we burned her to death, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, fun times in Sims. It's good to be back. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and unpause it here, get a little bit of life going, just kind of had it all quiet there and, and chilling out. So we have Adam in the house. That's his name, Adam. And then the brother is, um, I can't remember his name. Oh, Dean. Dean and Adam. And then you have the dog's name, who is Obi. Obi White. I think we did that over Obi-Wan Kenobi. I, I'm not sure what the fuck we were doing. Uh, we still have the updated bathroom, it looks like, with the, oh, wrong one. Uh, we still got the updated bathroom. Oh, wow. I actually like that. Okay. That's actually pretty sick. I'm surprised. Wait, what is this? What is this right here, dude? Why is that just chilling? It's that's not where it's supposed to go. There we go. Okay. That's, that's better. We got our little secret room here, which is the bookshelf, uh, that leads to which one is it again, where you can look up. Oh, I think it's in build mode where you can look directly up. Oh God. Yep, okay, so T in build mode, you can look directly up. As you can see, all my uh, money that's in here, uh, the money's actually going through the wall, so I'm going to have to change that really quick. You know, just kind of figure out a place where we can put this. We got to have them stacks on stacks. Oh, I got to get some cheats really quick, too. Let's, let's cancel this. Okay, let me get some cheats in my life. Okay, so we activated the cheats. Basically, they're just for build mode. You know what I mean? It makes building easier. As you can see, I put all the stuff together here and it looks so much better. You can kind of get it out of the weird square that The Sims likes to do. Why is this music like, hey, you're in a fucking nightclub. I like, it's not bad music, but shut the fuck up. You ever think about that? Okay, here we go. All right, we're looking good. So let's get to building. Like I said today, we're going to be working on building, kind of changing some stuff around, maybe changing the plants up or, you know, adding more foliage. What a foliage? Foliage? Is that a right word? I think it is. Um, and then, you know, I don't know, maybe doing something with this. I would like to connect this. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of pointless to have this, but not have it be connected to where you can go into your house. Like, you got to leave your house to go into your movie theater. Then again, I guess if you have a movie theater, you're Doing pretty well in life, so it's not that bad. Is that a hot, steamy shit on the ground? Oh, yeah, that's a hot, steamy shit. I can move the hot, steamy shit. Can the dog not shit on the grass? What? What is up? We're going to have to kill the dog now. All right. Is that another steamy shit? No, that's a dog toy. I was going to be like, bro, come on. Oh, my God, that's right. Kelsey used to live in the house, but now we turned her room into a gym. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. R.I.P. Kelsey. R.I.P. Kelsey. 
you're chilling with mom and dad now, so it's really not that big of a deal. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and see what we got here. We've got... Bro, these lights are... These lights have to go, I think, because those were literally sitting on nothing, which makes no sense. Actually, I could probably move them, like, over here. Yeah, we could just move them right there. That way they can still be a part of what's going on. See, look at these Look at these cheats, how you can just, like... Oh, that's so much better. Because before, it would just be like this. Is it there or there? And it's like, well, maybe I don't want it there. I need to have it lined up, though. Yeah, good enough for the most part, I would say. Uh, it's a little hard. The camera angles in this game are quite interesting. Let's just put it that way. I really like the hallway that we came up with, uh, where it kind of just, like, wraps in and around itself. I would say this is one of my best builds I've ever done in The Sims. Um, shit, we have water on the ground, too. I think that's probably urine, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I wouldn't be surprised. I feel like we could do better with the living room. The living room's kind of weak, if... Uh, I do say so, so, but maybe we could do some type of like new setup, get a new couch, because these are outdoor couches. Uh, for some reason, I thought it would be a great idea to use outdoor couches in the home. I'm not sure what I was what was going through my head there. Uh, I want a really nice, expensive couch, um, something that would look good, not something that's like you know antique looking or anything, but just a really nice plush couch if possible. A retro dinette stretch booth. That's... No. Okay, here we go. So, this is like a regular couch, which belongs in the house. And I can get a few of these and kind of do the same thing that I was going to do last time. I'm just going to put them down. We'll make the basic layout. Which, before, I think I had... I had like a chair, an armchair off to the side. Uh, which isn't a bad idea. But maybe this would give more of a living room feeling if the couches where like you know you can lay here and watch the tv or you can sit you're just next gonna be all fucked up uh it would be nice to get some type of table so thus way we could put the family members on said table uh first love coffee table you know we could put this in like the corner probably that's a big ass coffee table though like if it wasn't so big i think it would be perfect yeah that's that's fucking massive that's not gonna happen uh, if there is anything, oh, you know, we can, we can really treat them with style here and we could do some type of like dark wood and then I'm pretty sure, oh shit, that way they're in the home with us, you know what I mean? And they're not just like out in the attic because we love them all except Kelsey. Kelsey, she can, she can shit the bed for all we care. I feel like this bathroom, this front bathroom could definitely be better. How the fuck is someone supposed to use... I'm just now realizing what we've done with this house. And I think it you kind of it just takes some time to realize what you've done. And we're at that moment where we're realizing what we've done right now. Uh, so we're going to turn this around. Let's put that in the corner. Now we already have a functional bathroom. This, I'm not sure what we were doing here. I feel like if I put that there. Oh, that's kind of weak, dude. Oh, here we go. Damn, look at that reflection. Holy shit. That is insane, dude. Okay, that looks much better. That already off top looks like an actual bathroom that someone could use. And then go to ahead and wash their hands and all that fun stuff. Uh, kitchen's looking good. We got some levitating uh, plates with pretty much not a bite taken out of the food. That's typical. We have a bush coming through the thing here. So we've got to take care of that. Um, no. Okay. Let's. I'm going to take down the walls entirely. There we go. We've got to figure out what bush it is. I think it's this one. Perfect. Oh my god, there's water. Why is there so much water everywhere? What is going on? Okay, so it was this bush that was causing the uh, issues, it seems like. I want to keep them... It was like all the way in there, though. Because there would be no, re no way that the leaves would go through that if it wasn't that close. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's strange. Okay, kitchen's honestly solid. I really like this kitchen. Uh, it's a nice, like, dark-colored kitchen. It looks really good. There's water spots everywhere. It is, it is ridiculous. You know what we should do is we should get uh, Adam, right? Yeah, Adam. Adam's going to start cleaning some stuff up because this is absurd. Uh, we also just had an appliance break. So that's that's fantastic. Can I hire a repair service? Oh, I can hire a repair service. So I'm going to cancel that one really quick and uh, hire a repair service. We're going to let him do this because that is a safety hazard if I've ever seen it right there. You have a exposed wire, but then you also have a puddle of water underneath. Uh, that's how you die. 
And if you don't realize that's how you die, that is how you die. Let me put the walls up. I always get this confused. There you go, Adam. Good job. A little bit of teamwork goes a mile, right? Get that other one, and then we're going to fix the... Are you going to sleep? What is he doing? He literally just ran into the office, bro. No. Come over here and clean up this puddle. I literally just told him what to do. And he decides to walk off for some reason. Oh, you're happy because you went outside really quick? Well, that's good. That's fantastic. We're going to hire a repair service. We're going to get them over here to clean or to fix up this leak slash electrical issue, which could turn into a death real quick. Um, and then we're going to probably... I want to still remodel the bathroom. I feel like just the color and tile and all that stuff. Why does he do that, bro? Can you fix the stuff that you got to fix, my guy? Uh, same with... Oh, wait. That's right. We turned the... Oh, the parents passed away and we turned their stuff into an office. I forgot. You know what we should do? We should extend... We should make another master bedroom. We should take this wall down and we should kind of make everything bigger. That actually would be a really good idea. So he's calling a repair service. Dog's running around like a crackhead. Uh, let's move this here for right this second. And we're going to do some wall readjustment if that makes any sense. I'm going to take this down. One thing I do like about this game versus uh, House Flipper is that you can easily... Uh, replicate a look that you want to go for by simply uh, using the eyedropper tool and kind of picking up the texture or, you know, ground stuff. I've been playing a lot of House Flipper, but I got to admit, they're they're kind of like the same games, but in the end of the day, they're completely different. Um, and, you know, some games hold their own little special stuff and, and others hold others as well. You know what would be cool is if we did have... I don't know. I kind of feel like we need to put a wall here. Um, and the only reason why I say that is because... It needs a walls. Uh, we should have all the rooms go into the, all the all the doorways into the room should be in the hallway. You know what I mean? So we're gonna do that. Did I add? Oh, you know what? I probably have a door there still. Yeah. See, I got a door there, which there already was a wall technically. So let's go back, and now it's gonna be the same color, and then we're just gonna delete the door. Um. So now we have. You know what I can even do is I can extend. You know, can I? I don't know. Maybe I should keep it. I feel like by not extending this, it kind of just makes it feel a little more realistic and a little more home-esque instead of it just having be like one flat wall that's going through the whole living room. Because this kind of cordons off what you would expect to be the living room of the thing. I've always wanted a wall here too, just because I feel like it would cocoon what we have going on in the living room, kind of make it feel more homey. And that would be that that wall there. That way, it kind of just feels a little bit more real, if that makes any sense. Because I just feel like that living room is kind of just a little too big. It doesn't give you much room to kind of play with or work with there. Uh, I'm going to unfreeze this. We're going to go back to the game really quick. Hopefully, we can get the repairman here soon. Because if not, we're going to die. You called the repairman, right? Play with the goddamn dog before it wants to hurl itself off the second story of the house that we don't have. Oh, is that the repairman? Why does he look tired? He literally is coming to his job about to fall asleep. This guy. I don't know who he is, but... Bro, what are you doing? That's not where you go. Okay, we got we got Adam using the shitter right now, and the guy's here. I have a feeling he's just going to walk in the house. Okay, he's literally just walking in the house while I'm taking a fat shit. Might as well watch this guy fix it and not die. That's it. That was it. Give tip. Might as well give him a tip. If he fixed it, he fixed it, right? Uh, after that, we're going to mop. Cool. So we got that done. How much money do we have? We have... Oh, that's right. We're a millionaire. I forgot. Then again, if we have a, like a house like this, of course, uh, we're doing well to some extent, right? Uh, let's put up the walls. I kind of want to see what we got going on in the bedrooms here. Oh, weird. I just now realized that there's a back door in from Adam's room there. I'm not sure if I like that. Then again, if without it... Yeah, I feel like this is this should be the only logical way to get out to the backyard versus uh, the laundry room door. That's what I'm saying. We've, we've done some sophisticated shit to this house, all right? Okay, did you pick up the puddle? 
Oh, you did. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's fix up this wall a little. I don't want it to have, look like out of place. Uh, I think it looks good, and I can make the full assumption later when we kind of get it all squared away. Oh yeah, that looks solid. Oh, I feel like I should move the dog dish onto this side. I always feel like I never had enough room there for what I was trying to do, and now I think we'll be good. So let's put food there and water here. Oh yeah, that's so much better than that corner. Now that corner doesn't look claustrophobic, and it, this kind of looks like the dog's area, uh, which is nice. So we can even get some artwork or something like that for the wall. Um, I'm going to see if I can find a picture frame. There we go. Some type of artwork to bring it to life a little. Um, I feel like that's a cheesy-ass photo. Oh, and it comes in different types, too. That actually would be super better. Um... It just looks like it's supposed to belong on such a uh, big wall. Kind of fills it up. I wish there was something a little better. That's not bad. That all belongs with like the dining thing that's out. Holy shit. That's not what we want. That is the, that is the world's biggest photo for a damn museum, which we are in a home. That's not going to work. Oh, that could work too. Okay. And we're going to do that one because I think the other one's kind of meant for a restaurant. So this one kind of makes it look like it's it's not. I see where it's at right there. Let's I want to see if I can change the the coloring. Mm, that probably is going to be the best cuz it has the dark uh picture frame. I already got to admit this is much better than I was expecting, you know, to get in here and be able to change some stuff around and kind of switch it up a little. Oh, I just realized I had two of these. I might want a different one, but then again, maybe it's not that big of a deal. Oh, oh, what is going on? These end tables, bro. These end tables are god-awful considering the fact that they're not dark colored like the uh, couches. I wonder if that's black. Yep. Oh, those are huge. Oh my god. Those other ones were clearly meant for the outside. Uh, we're just going to put that there. I'm going to delete this. We're going to delete that. I'd say we move these out there really quick. Let's tuck these motherfuckers in. Bam. Bam. Oh, yeah, that's why the build tools are so important, because you can literally do whatever you want. Uh, we're going to duplicate this guy. Looks like we have it kind of right by... There we go. Okay, looking solid. Let's go ahead and get our lamp in here. We're going to tuck it in uh, like so. Might actually have to bring it back just a T bit. Now we're going to have clipping going on. Bam! That's our new living room, ladies and gentlemen. That actually looks really good. It's very cozy. I feel like we could use a picture on this side as well, too, since we've got uh, stuff going on. Oh, I didn't even realize. See, that's why it's always good to go back through and make sure everything lo looks good and is equal, because half the time it isn't in any way, shape, or form. Okay, so now I think we should work on this bathroom. Uh, we could probably do some stuff with the countertops. Uh, they're looking a little basic. And we could probably do better. So let's find our bathroom. Let's do shelves. I kind of want to stick with a nice darker theme. Uh, the darker theme will... I don't know. It just, it just in my mind, looks so much better. So we're going to take these. I'm going to take this. And we're going to move that there. Sick. We can just take that whole damn thing. Um, bada bing. Bada bing. Okay, million times better already by just the dark uh, tabletop. So now we're going to go ahead and work on the sink here, which we were just using a regular uh, sink that sits inside. Oh my God, this is going to look so much better with the dark look. Oh my God. Uh, we're in a mirror. I think we used something like this prior. Okay, so we have double mirrors going on right now. Let me see if I could get one of them gone. Oh my god, that looks so good! Now we just gotta get a tub and a toilet, and we'll be solid. And I'm pretty sure all of it comes in like some of black. Oh my god. I, I would do my bathroom like this in real life. <laughs> Something about dark appliances uh, just are super sick looking to me. I don't, I don't know why. It just makes the house look so damn good. Uh, let's go ahead and get a toilet. Maybe we can... Uh, it looks like a weird toilet. 
Oh my goodness. That is how you transform a bathroom in three seconds, ladies and gentlemen. I could I could fuck with that. Uh wrong one. Wrong one. There we go. Oh yeah, that's solid. And we even got the dark doors on the outside too. That's that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, I totally forgot that we tore apart Adam's room and that we should or not uh Dean's room and we should probably do something with it. This two color shit we got going on is pretty god awful. Uh, now that I think about it, I actually don't even know if I like the light blue. That might just be way too much going on. I, f I definitely feel like we should be doing the uh, color split. Okay, yeah, we're doing the color split. Just because if we are going to have the light blue, might as well... Oh, you know what? Maybe we should... Uh... Yeah, we could do something like that. I feel like just a wall of that much blue is god-awful. Like, it it's that's not even worth it. So we're going to do half blue... Half gray for right now. I feel like this other room, the workout room, we could just do gray because it's it's just too much. Who would want to look at bright ass blue when they're working out? I don't know. Maybe you want to. That's that could be you. Uh, we're gonna take down these walls again. And let's see. We've got our equipment room done. What can we do with his shit? He. I don't even know why we have another one of these in this house. That makes no sense. At this, you just gotta ask yourself how many damn. Uh, how many things do I need? We're going to take away these paintings. Oh, this could be like a big-ass closet. I would say kind of. You know what I mean? Kind of a big-ass closet. I mean, if the parents don't live here anymore, it's kind of useless to have anything but something like that. Oh, this is weird. It used to fit perfectly. Now I... I fucked everything up. You know, we might have to change some stuff around, but that's okay. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on over here, but I'm going to kind of move things around. We're going to make it happen. All right, there we go. So let's, I would say, to kind of clear things up, we're going to move the bed on this side, which will allow us to put the TV kind of over here, which I think will be really, it'll be, it'll look a lot better. I like how the rug has to be facing a certain direction, technically, even though it really doesn't. We're going to get fancy with it, though. Bam. Okay, so we're going to take his TV now, put it on the wall in front of it. Okay, I would say that already looks 20 times better. We're going to need another nightstand here. I don't know how I only had one. Bam. That's not what I meant to do. I feel like I want to draw those closer if possible. Alright, and then we're going to give a nice little comfy chair. Yeah, that should be good. I feel like this is a dingy ass chair compared to what else is going on in this room. But you can see I like the dark furniture, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we got the oh we got the beds assigned, I forgot. Cool, so there we go. So a little little blank over here, but I'm pretty sure we could do some stuff. Uh, with it to kind of make it look better. But do you have his little office here, which I feel like would be better if I had would be better if I had this near it. Imagine I when I copy it over, it makes it a different color wood. That's not correct. That's not what it should be doing. Okay, so we got his room done. We've got the bastard the baster. The master or the oh, Jesus. We have uh Dean's we have Dean's room done. We have the bathroom done. We've done a little bit of work to um, the front yard, which is like taking a plan out, which I kind of feel like we could work on that a little. I would say the front yard, if we want to talk about just aesthetic looks in a video game, it looks pretty damn good. Like we did a pretty damn good job uh, with all the flowers and stuff like that. The one thing that I feel like I would like to work on is figuring out a way to connect this room with the rest of the house, which almost is virtually impossible due to the fact that the theater is right up against uh, Adam's room here, which Adam's room pretty much wraps around the whole thing and his office is over here, which his office is ridiculously small, but that it, that looks like a tight office if I'm not lying over here. I would fuck with that office. I don't know. For some reason, a smaller office where everything's kind of like close together just creates a more homey feel. Uh, we got to get rid of this shit. I'm just going to do it that way. So yeah, we have our theater. This shit's badass. Um, the only thing I would like to do is just connect it. You know what I mean? Just connect it. Maybe I could do... Hmm. I think I just had an epiphany here. I think we can make this one big-ass hallway. 
and you're going to get what I'm saying here in a second. You know what I mean? You're going to, it's going to come to life here in a second. Actually, uh, I could even do it like this now that I think about it. We'll take it out like this. We want to connect these front doors. So what we're going to have to do is I feel like we're going to have to move the doors over a little to kind of make it happen, but it's definitely going to be possible. So let's see. We're going to lose some, <laughs> we're going to lose some doors to be able to exit the house, but don't worry. I promise we're not going to pull another Kelsey and light everyone on fire. So we should be good. She was just dumbass annoying. All right. We're going to block that off. So now we have our, oh, you know, if we're going to do it like this, we might as well do it right. If that makes any sense, even though doing it right at this point, that, I don't know what we're doing here. So I might even have to make Adam's room a little smaller, but I think it would be for the better. If that makes any sense. If I put another wall here, you're going to see what I'm doing and it's going to all make sense in the end of the day. I promise you. I promise you. Uh, am I able to? Yes. So some of these windows are going to need to be moved out here because this is now the new outside of the house. Which Adam has lost some windows. He's lost some windows, but he still has a good amount for the most part. Uh, he has two. That's not even a good amount, but at least it's something, right? Uh, we can move um, all these doors... I feel like we can have another door to the outside just so you can get out to the outside of the house, which would be a logical thing to do. Uh, now we're going to take down this wall. Okay, uh, like so. And we're going to start moving all of this stuff onto the inside of the room. Just And it's going to get a little messy right now, but we're just going to have to fit all of Adam's stuff in there. That carpet is literally the same size as the room, dude. We don't have much wiggle room with that. Okay, we're going to put that there. We got ourselves a little drone here. Oh, no, that's a tripod. I love how reflective the windows are in this. That's truly amazing. Okay, we're looking good. I think I got everything. Yes, we did. We've got the drone. See, I did have a drone. All right, it's messy in Adam's room, but that's fine. That's, that's cool. All right, we're going to take down two more walls. Bam, bam. Okay, now I think we're going to take down this, and we're going to go bam, bam. We're almost there. You're going to see what we're doing. Now we've got like a walkway, which leads and I, it can be like an indoor outdoor type thing we got going on where it leads to an outdoor walkway, which goes, it's basically another hallway, uh, which goes to the room, which I feel like if I were to just take this shit down like that, it would just make it so much better. You know what I mean? I'm just going to put that right there for a second because you got your hallway and then you got the hallway that kind of turns. Now what I can do, I can even bring this wall back in a little. Oh, yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's that's breathing room. That is breathing room if I've ever seen it. Okay, so we've got our door. I think a double door would look really cool for here. Um, oh, we got to do flooring. I'm going to just keep the whole hardwood floor we got going on. I think it looks good. And it'll lead right up into that movie theater walkway. Oh my god, we just amplified this house, dude. We really did. It looks so much better. Oh, and we can put it in the middle. What is life? Thank you. Okay, we're going to get the outside of the house done. Easy. Easy, easy. We got an extra door here. We don't want to leave that. We don't need two ways out. That seems silly. Yeah, I think we're good. I can just delete this. I don't even... I don't even really need that. We're just going to equal these out a little bit more. That is solid. I'm I'm impressed with that. That was kind of like an impromptu decision. I was going to do something way more basic. Um, yeah, I was going to do something way more basic and just try to connect it. But I think that was one of the best ways that we could have gone. My brain wasn't working the way it should have been to make this possible, obviously, at another point. Now, the only weird part that we have, it's not even weird. Oh, shit. We can make his office bigger. Okay, we're going to take away this. I'm going to pull this wall back to this wall. Okay, I took the carpet with me. We're just going to put that. Let's uh, finish our hardwood floor. Okay, sick. So, we have Adam's office back. It's a little different when it comes to how it was all set up prior, but he's still technically flowing and everything's good. It's being stubborn. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. So let's uh, reposition all of Adam's things here so we can 
have it all look good for him. Okay, just like so, we're gonna get his plant all back. I actually really liked his office, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna fuck it all up. You know what I'm saying? Okay, the carpet will still work. We're gonna have it tucked more into where he sits. Gonna put his drone there. Damn, dude, he's back, and it's it really wasn't even that big of a deal. Okay, I think that looks solid. I like that. I like that office a lot. Only thing that we got to do is the lights. What is this? Is that another light? Oh, it is. That's god awful. Oh, maybe not. That was that was actually bright. <laughs> um, okay. That's weird. I guess what I could do is I'm just going to put this one over the desk and then this one in the center of the room. That way he has equal dispersed lighting and it's not all weird looking. Uh, kitchen's looking solid. I don't think there's anything we have to touch in that nice double doored or double pane window there. Uh, new remodeled bathroom with a, an extended room that used to lead into the parents' bedroom in the center there. Uh, the workout room, which we could probably do something else with, but I think for right now it's pretty solid. There's no need to kind of mess with anything in that. We have the outside. I would like to get some life going to the outside because right now it's looking a little basic. Uh, we have, you know, our outdoor patio section, but it's Kind of just blah. It's not even really that good. Um, we have a lot more room. We have a whole back end here. I tried to keep like a path that people could walk. And I think it looks solid. But I just feel like we could do possibly a little bit more with it in general. Wow. I've even adding those two patches of grass there. We're pretty solid. There we go. That actually looks solid because it kind of follows the uh, flow of... What we got going on there? Oh, that looks it. That's it. That's it. Nailed it. All right. We're going to move this. Kind of get the beach towel closer to what we got going on here. Good stuff. Technically, this is a uh, map in, in Southern California. So all, the, all of the pool stuff and all of it makes sense with the towels that are just constantly out there for anyone to use. Uh, we got a wall that's been added here. So let's do that. That's the one thing that you got to uh, be careful about when you build stuff or extend stuff. Um, it basically takes a chunk of the wall and it'll just kind of put whatever. Oh, that's something I needed to do here. So we have this weird little cubby thing area, which I guess could just stay a weird cubby. I mean, we have no idea how houses are made and what is behind the walls. And if there's these all over the place and in, in actual houses or apartments or whatnot. Um, so that definitely could stay. And again, it could be another one of these little rooms, which I think this is super cutty because you really can't even tell... Uh, that this is here, if you were to just be like on ground level looking at this, you really wouldn't even be able to tell that that is a hidden type of cubby. Obviously, and you started snooping around the damn the front of it. Yeah, of course. Okay, one thing I am going to do is get rid of the more, you know, tall one and put in a more uh, longer version of, of the doorway thing here, which actually matches this one, if I'm not mistaken. It looks like it matches it better. I feel like the shorter one... Is just kind of more smooth looking. I don't know why that one has such shitty. Uh... I don't know. We kind of have the look that we have. I don't want to fuck that up. Um, so we're going to keep it the way it is there. I like how the kitchen and the, the front room are open with. Or the kitchen and the living room are open with these. Versus just kind of being. Like I could have put a wall. Actually that might not be a bad idea. I could physically extend this wall all the way. Like so, making it a box, and then I can take one of these, and we could just put it, like, right there. That way you... Oh my... That's actually not bad. I like it because you have a very uh, specific thing that's being flown through the whole thing. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of this because it's, like, wood, and change it with something that's more professional looking. And now they're all equal, too. They all have an equal opening. Nothing's, like, bigger than the other. That looks much better. Okay, sick. I like it. Accidental, but I'll take it. Okay, so something I did notice um, we've got to fix up here is this patch of dirt, which was technically, or a patch of cement, which was technically supposed to be going to the driveway, which we turned into a theater. So I don't think it's a necessity to keep any of that going. I feel like it would be nice if we kept this uh, patio idea thing that we had. So we're going to do that. 
kind of just keep, I don't know. I feel like if you were to have to walk around the whole house, it would be easier to walk on cement than it would be on dirt, especially if it is choosing to rain one day. Okay, everything else is good. I don't have it out here because this is where plants are growing technically, so I don't want to fuck up uh, the plants that are growing. Yeah, like right there, it wouldn't look good. Oh, good stuff, good stuff. Damn, the living room's looking dope as shit now. It looks so cozy in there. The only thing that's dangerous about this is the fireplace or the couch in front of the fireplace. I feel like we could do better with that. But then again, I don't really know how many options we have uh, when it comes to where we would put it. We don't really, we can't move it. <laughs> we can't move it too many places in this small ass. We could just get rid of it now. Oh my God. I wonder if we were to move this here. Would it look odd? That actually doesn't look too bad. You have two-piece couch, and then you can see the fireplace. And also the urns that are at a ridiculous rate that we have been accumulating for some stupid reason. But then again, I think the deaths are done. I've also turned off aging, so that way we don't lose our two characters that we have left. Because that would be kind of... That would be kind of shitty. Okay, jumping back to the game here. We got some stuff that we need to do. I can search the pockets? Hell yeah, I'm going to search the pockets, bro. Uh, he wants to go to sleep. That's hilarious, because... You got shit to do. Why is Dean... Oh, is Dean, was Dean the one that we were using at the police station the last time? I don't remember him being the one. I thought we were with the other character uh, that we were doing, like, the rags to riches. Which we are going to do that. I just... I really enjoy these characters. And it's been so long that I know you guys probably would want to see him again, too. We are legitimately searching the pockets. Okay. Hey, I found $7. <sighs> All right, we're going to wash these. Let's see. Minor, minor folded, I think. Uh, let's see. I can't find my hamper. I don't even think I have a hamper like that. Now that I'm mistaken. Let's see. What you doing? Okay, he's going to bed. He looks like he's just going to die here in a second. Office is looking super solid. So I want to kind of pick up anything that I can. How is, how is Dean not back yet? He has been at work. For what has felt to be literally the whole time. I've been in here for 50 minutes playing Sims. And Dean has not been home the whole time. Which he must really be loving his life there at the uh, police station working there. Um, So I think... Oh. You have 24 hours to pay the bill before your water is shut. Well, what the fuck? How do I pay my bills? Oh, pay bills. Okay. I was wondering why all the lights shut off. That's kind of fucked. The laundry power company has shut off the power to your house. Pay the bills to get it turned back on. Sick. Okay, is it done yet? Um, let's see. Unload and move to dryer. Oh, God. I hate these noises that the Sims make. Uh, we're going to put these in the washing machine. Do some laundry. You got this, Adam. Why is he uncomfortable? Oh, he wants to pick up his surroundings. I don't blame him, honestly. Oh, he's got a lot of shit out here. Spoiled. Yep. Made by Dean. Sick. There's eight of them left. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're going to clean up. Imagine grabbing a serving of spoiled sandwiches. Please do it. God damn. Adam is not looking good, though. Why is the dog so unhappy? We're going to praise the dog after. Okay, so Adam's taking the dog for a walk. I didn't know you could leash it and literally take the dog around by just clicking go here. That's actually kind of dope, not going to lie. Uh, but that is going to be where we wrap this Sims episode up. Get in here and giving some love and TLC to the house here at the White Residence. I think it's pretty good. Uh, we have a th few things that we have to pick up next time. I'm probably going to do it off camera, though, to be truthfully honest. Screw yourself. Um, we're going to take away the uh, weight room that we got. Probably add in something else. Uh, once we get going with this, which I'm going to do off screen, we're going to try to get back into our rags to riches. I'm not sure if it's in the saved profile. I haven't even looked. I'm going to have to do that after this just for shits and giggles to see. Uh, nonetheless, The Sims is back and it's it's super fun. I'm so glad I get to play this game. Oh my God. There is a couch. <laughs> we're going to get rid of that. Um, I'm so glad I get to play this game uh, with you guys and you guys get to enjoy it. I know a lot of the female subscribers that watch the channel probably really love this game because you guys probably play this game all the time. Uh, so it's fun to probably get in here and see how I do things versus probably how you guys do things the right way. Uh, but nonetheless, it's been great. So thank you all so much for coming out and watching this episode of The Sims 4 and we will see you next video.